Okay, so you completed that last rotation of adding incrementally one hand swings, right? Now you're ready for a little bit of a bigger challenge. Um, you can go through the whole thing with a with a with a with the next bell size up, and then you can do um, another variation with even a heavier bell, maybe one that you haven't even swung one handed before. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that. Okay, so. I've got, that, there's my swing weight, I'm going up with a bell size, okay? It uh, doesn't matter, it's different for everybody. So, um, this time I'm going to do five and five one-handed swings, okay? So I'm not going to go up the ladder necessarily, I'm just going to go straight to two-hand swings, I'm going to drop one hand on five, and then I'm going to put the bell down. I'm going to do right and left independently of each other, okay? So here I go. One, two, three, four, drop one hand, touch on five, five six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so I, I think I had an extra rep. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm always saying that, right? It doesn't matter um, because this is just practice. We'll get it right at some point, and if we don't, we still got our swings in, we still showed up for our workout, and that's really what counts. Okay, but I've got to stop saying that. All right, I'm going to do the other side in a couple of seconds. So this time I'm going to do it right. I'm going to drop one of my hands on the fifth rep, and then I'm going to put the other hand back on the tenth rep. Ready? Here we go. Slightly heavier bell. One, two, three, four. Drop one hand on five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hands on 10, and we're done. Okay, so that's the, that's the combination that you're gonna use with a slightly heavier bell. And uh, you can do as many sets like that as you like. I suggest at least five on each side. But here's the thing, okay, so I did this workout specifically because I thought it was really good for a beginner. Um, like I said, when you're swinging the weight and you go from two hands to one and you don't feel a difference, that's because you put in some practice and you've built up that strength of that stability through, through your midsection, through your core. And that's a good thing. But sometimes we want to get stronger even then, right? So we go up to the next size bell. I like the stability of going from two hands to one hand, okay? And we can make it fun by, by um, uh, you know, uh, laddering up and laddering down. I did this with a client the other day, and he said, why don't you just do 10 swings and 10 swings? I go, well, you can if you want, so knock yourself out, do that. But this gives you a different kind of focus when you're using ladders, and that's why I love ladders so much. Okay, so, but with this heavier bell, we're not gonna do any laddering. It should be a bell that's heavy enough that you feel a change when you drop one of your hands, okay? So, that's important if you're going on to a new, another workout after that first one. Now, it may also be appropriate if you're at a beginning level, which means you've been swinging probably less than three months, certainly less than that, um, six months to three months, and you only have one size bell. You have the appropriate bell for two hand swings, but you don't have the appropriate bell for one hand swings. This is how you would start to train that strength and stability of the one hand swing. So I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time, okay? You're gonna drop one hand on five, you're gonna do five one handed swings, putting your, your second hand on the bell as you put it down, okay? So here we go, five and five. One, two, three, four, drop one hand on five, touch on six, Touch on seven, touch on eight, touch on nine, two hands on 10 and put your bell down. Now, I feel, I feel a difference when I drop one of my hands with that bell. Um, so that's, that's the proper way for me. I'm gonna do it on the other side. Here we go for one, two, three, four, drop one hand on five, touch on six, Touch on seven, eight, nine, two hands on 10. Okay, like I said, I feel the difference when I drop one of my hands. That's the bell that you should be using. 
So I'm going to go up actually in weight because I want to build even more strength. But I'll put that on a different video if you want to train that one. I'll show you how. 